Hi Ian, this is Coach Smart from ABC Baseball Camps. How are you doing today? We're going to talk about your setup, your swing plane, your position at contact, your lower half, and your finish as we look at your hitting video here. So let's talk about your setup. Looks like a pretty basic, uh, simple setup, which is what we're looking for, something you can repeat. Your feet looks like they're on a parallel line. Um, you could probably stand to be a little wider apart. We'll have to see what happens when you stride. And your hands are nice and high, which is good. So let's see what happens here when you stride, where you go to. Okay, so it really appears that when you stride in that you're going from a nice closed stance to a nice to a not so nice open stance. Gotta get that toe back to that line. You see the angle of your back foot in? Right there? That's how your front shirt should be right now. Is like that. When you let it get this way, okay, what you do is you let your front hip open up here. And when that front hip opens up, that makes you makes it very difficult for you to hit balls on the outside half of the plate. All big league guys, all high level call judges are always fighting their front side. They're always thinking about trying to keep the, how they're going to keep that hip and that front shoulder in on that pitch that's on the outside half, especially against off speed stuff. So it's important that you make sure that you stride, you stride to a square parallel stance. And also remember, Ian, that when you stride, that little move you make right here, going forward with your foot, okay, it's just your foot that goes. When you transfer like this, don't transfer your weight forward until after your foot hits the ground. Then you start transferring weight. But you can see how, how much your front hip is open right here. So we got to make sure we step to a, we, when we stride, we stride to a square parallel stance, okay? Okay, let's talk about your swing plane. Okay, not too bad. You're a little disconnected from the standpoint your hands are awfully, at this point right here, they're awfully far away from your body. This elbow should be right against your side here. This elbow right here should be against your side and stay connected. Okay. You do start with a little bit of a downward angle, which is good. So you come into the contact area and you do get your your barrel it looks to be on plane of the baseball right here, which is good. Let's see where you are at contact now. Okay. Okay, so at contact, let's talk about your your hands and stuff. This is really good here. But this arm should be more like this at contact. Okay, you show that some hitting instructors will call that power L right there. Okay. Um, in your eyes, your head slot, it looks like you're looking out here. And right now your head should be leaning down behind that barrel. Okay. So you got to make sure you... You get a good head slot, your head's looking down at that baseball. Don't have what we call frozen eyes, where you watch where the ball comes from, your eyes kind of stay right there. You don't actually track the baseball. So you got to make sure that you are you know, right there, you should be have your head. I, should be, I shouldn't even be able to see your eyes right now, because your head is tilted down looking at the baseball. Um, getting your lower half involved. Uh, your lower half looks really good. Uh, we'll talk about your backside first. 
This angle of your back leg here is good. You're trying to take this knee and drive it down to the inside of that front foot. Okay? Now, the only thing that's not so good is the fact that that front foot is facing this way instead of like this. If we get to close that foot off a little bit, then your front hip would still be in and you could really be able to handle that outside half better. You'd be more square to home plate. And again, the longer you can stay square to home plate with your upper body, the more balls you're going to square up. Okay? So let's look at your finish. Okay, you notice that, right, see how your back foot is right there, Ian? That's really good. Your back foot should stay just like that throughout your finish. You can see, you now you're pushing backwards. And it goes to the ground, or close to the ground. Well, actually, it rolls a little bit, so you're okay, I guess. Uh, that'll be okay. Uh, just try to maintain that, that nice bend you have in your leg that you had at contact throughout your swing. One thing we don't want to do, but we don't want to get taller as we hit. Let's check and see what happens to you when you hit. We're going to put a line right above your head. Okay. We're going to see where you go here. That's good. You go down. Everybody should compress down to hit. And you make contact, you just stay right there. You shouldn't be coming up at all. Okay? You want to stay in your legs, that's where power comes from. We want to hit with our big muscles, not our, our smaller muscles. Okay, your big muscles are your thighs and your backside. You don't want to you don't want to come out of those legs. Stay in those legs. Stay in that position. Let's look at another swing. Now we're going to put a circle over your head. And your head should stay right in that circle. If you just take it, right now you're too narrow, your setup's too narrow. Cause you're gonna, it's going to make you take a huge stride. That's, a way, that's way too big a stride. Look where your head went, bud. Your head came completely out of that circle. Remember, the only thing that moves when you stride is your front foot. Your body stays back. The only time you're going to transfer your weight is when you swing, not when you stride. We talked before about your, the way you stride. You see, you're, again, you're going from a nice parallel stance to an open stance. You must step towards that pitcher. Um... So my, my guess would be, the best thing for you would be is to, number one, start with a little more of a wider base. You don't take as big a stride. I'll give you a, kind of a, what I think you should do from a setup standpoint. Okay, I think your feet, if that's where the line is for your back foot, your front foot should be right about where the end of that line is to start off with. Then take a shorter stride. Because when you take a big stride like that, Ian, you end up getting, it's pretty hard to hold your finish. You don't have what we call dynamic balance in the batter's box. And all hitting guys are looking for guys that have dynamic balance in the batter's box. They're going to be athletic in there. They're going to be able to take their swing and hold their finish and have some athleticism. Okay? So, but from a setup standpoint, we've got to get wider. Your swing plane's fine. Your position of contact is pretty good. You definitely get your lower half involved, but you lose some of that ability to get your lower half involved because of where that stride foot goes. Okay, now this knee you have back here pushing down has nothing to push against because you're opened up. Okay, try to get that foot going this way and not like that. Okay, we need to hit against a firm front side, a firm front side. So what I would do from a drill standpoint, Ian, is I would uh, find something you can put in front of your foot that doesn't allow you, and behind, that doesn't allow you to, um, 
I have a son that plays in college that had some of the same issues, and I, I built something called a stride box. And it was made out of two by fours, and it went like this. Not a very good uh, rendition of it, but and so it made him so he can only stride so far, and he had to stride straight. And that helped him gain some muscle memory and help him gain some uh, some feel for where his foot was going. It wouldn't allow him to step toward like you do to kind of out and open his hip up. It kept his front hip closed when he was younger. And once he got it, you know, he did that for a couple thousand times. That stopped doing. He stopped. Uh, he stopped opening up on his stride. So you can just have your dad make it out of two by fours or something to lay on the ground. Make it wide enough that you can, you know, take your stride and rotate your back foot like you are doing real good here in the video. And uh, do that a couple thousand times, and that'll take care of that uh, of that issue. But a lot of good things in that swing. Keep up the good work, and look forward to seeing you at another ABC baseball camp.